So anyways, I made a video yesterday. Here, I can actually interview. So yesterday, I made a video of, uh, or the day before, uh, using my Marshall Code 5. That's the Marshall talking to you. Um, <clears throat> getting the Randy Rhodes tone. And I got it way more than anybody else because they're trying to do it just purely using the code five or code of fifty, code five, whatever. Uh, fifty one fifty. So I said you can't do it, and you can't. You can get close, but it, Randy's tone was very not a very good tone. But it was his tone, and he worked on it, and he used a lot of effects. It's a very very heavily effects based tone and then the marshals that he had were greg leon's the first ones that he took over to record i guess both albums or at least the first one and the second one might have been the marshals he got from uh, marshall which they took his marshals which were greg leon's with his modification and put those mods in randy's mod or in randy's marshall da -da 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 -da. anyway so i made a video and uh, I'm playing a star, a white star with bullet holes. And that guitar was made in 1980, the same exact year and place that this, the original Concord was made. And his, Randy's, was one piece. They gave him a piece, you know, paper, ruler, you know, trying all this crap, and a pencil, and said, draw out the what you see in your head. Because he had a vision in his head of the Concord plane, but as a guitar. This was a one-piece deal. This is not a one-piece. This is a set neck, I think. Whatever. So, you know, you, when you're dealing really with Fender now. You're not dealing with Jackson anymore. Jackson was more of a family little deal. I went down there. I'm like, hey, I'm friends with Randy Rhodes. He's my neighbor. Oh, cool. And, you know, they make a guitar for me. Or put it together, really. So, that's not the way it is, really. I can go down there, I get stuff. Some people remember me. Some people know me from as that guy that came in as a kid and blah, blah, blah. And he, was, and he knew Randy. whoop de doo I'm actually getting tired of <laughs> Randy stuff. Cause, but, if, but here I am playing this. But I'm playing it because uh, I told you guys or whoever, because they're asking, you know, what number is that? I go, it's actually was pulled out of the, it's not pulled out of the line. They had a couple hundred of these. They did a run of 60 official relic uh, Concords. I didn't want it relic. I wanted it like his brand new, not like that other one they did in 92 with the Floyd Rose and the, you know, that wasn't like his at all. At all. And I had one of, I don't think I have that one anymore. I got rid of that and the Sandoval. The only one I kept was the uh, Flying V Polka Dot Jackson, Jackson V because it's the third one and it's signed by Ozzy and Dolores Rhodes. So that's worth something right there. So anyways, I had this taken out so it looked new. They gave me this, they gave me this, but it wasn't installed. And I said, Just get, I'll get everything else. And I actually had to buy these because I wanted different, I wanted these to be flat to the body. This pickup I didn't care about, it was this one. I was very, I wanted the Seymour Duncan Van Halen pickup put in here. Because I had an idea. I wanted a certain sound out of this. And I got it. It sound, To me, this sounds pretty good. So, I'm like, also saying, you know, if I would have gotten the other one, I had to pay a ton of money. This one cost me a few hundred dollars. It was nothing. All they had done was painted it. And that was it. And I, and I taped up the back. I screwed it up. I pulled the tape off. I messed everything up. So I'm having that redone. I have a brand new plate in the back. Shiny. Uh, and I smashed this headstock into a wall. As I was mentioning. I don't know if you can see, but it got jacked up. The tip. I don't know if you can see it. 
But I, oh, if this was the actual relic thing, I would be furious. I'm mad as it is, but I just got a pen, this one right here, and colored it in the uh, black stuff that was all and glued up stuff. And so there you go. Uh, you know, people that ask, you can feel free to ask questions. I know, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are curious about Randy, and I don't want his memory to die either. His mom's gone. All that's left is his brother. I mean, his brother, who's starting a, like, a thing for a museum at Musonia. So, uh, you know... Just, I don't know. I gotta check it out. I'm always suspect to everybody. I believe nothing I hear and half of what I see. Right? Right. Okay, so... Other than that, I'm just going to jam a little bit because I've been listening to Pavlo, I think his name is, Pavlo, on KCT. That guy's just cranking. I mean, if this guy had a Les Paul, man, he'd be just shredding. All right, so let's see what we got here. Hopefully it's in tune because I haven't checked, and it's 106 today and humid. <laughs>
right here blasting and this is a potted friggin bastard ass pickup and it's still you know Eddie Van Halen maybe hasn't come up with anything new in uh, 30 years but the stuff he came up with really helped because usually right now this would be squealing but it doesn't squeal until I actually That's another reason, so you, know, you notice how Randy always played like that? Two reasons. One, the bar, and two, is the cup to shield the pickup so it wouldn't be squealing from the monitors hitting, you know. Did the same thing. Now, I, I learned that real quick when I started playing live, and that's how I kind of have these set up is so I can hear them, but they're like monitors too instead of behind me. The high may be much better. I wouldn't get so much feedback, but not here. Well, maybe more when I get a new house. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's an old song I wrote called Drunk and Disorderly. And that goes out to my stupid drunk friend, Gary. More, not the guitarist is dead, but the soon to be dead friend of mine, if he didn't stop drinking. If I post this, because <laughs> that's, that's some really crappy playing, but I can't concentrate. I feel like dick, and it's hot. This air conditioner is on and it's 87 degrees in here what the flying shit i'm just not into it so there you go that's it that this is my worst piece of poop well besides all the drugged out stuff i did there in you know 2011 12 whatever if you want to see some really horrifying stuff Watch those videos that I put out when I was loaded on painkillers and whatever. Actually, the accident happened eight years ago yesterday. The accident that just destroyed my life. Just, just friggin' destroyed it. Lost my job, lost my wife, lost my house. The only thing I came out with was guitars and a bank account that my wife didn't know about. So... Because she cleaned out the other account, our joint account, and she left seven or eight thousand dollars in there, marked for funeral. 
So she was bailing on me while I was in a coma. And she kept saying she couldn't come down because, you know, I had a branch thing on, up in Utah. And the accident was down here. And she had friggin' asteroids. Hemorrhoids. I call them asteroids. It makes more sense because they're in your ass. They're not in your hammer. So she's got asteroids. She ain't coming down to see me. But when I come out of the coma, after, I don't know, a couple of months, uh, because I wasn't supposed to, 15% chance of living, I lived. <laughs> Wee! And then she comes down and says, well, I don't know if I can take care of a disabled man. And I'm like, I couldn't talk. And they had me strapped down. It's great. Well, anyway, so we never got back together. And now I got my crazy cousin, so I'm I'm out. Late.